Excellent, thank you. Thank you for sharing your lifetime. Lifetime is the most valuable thing we all have. And it's great to be here together at DLD Summer 2015 in Munich. Lifetime. I don't see anything here, so I have to look up there. At one point or another, we have all been sick before in our lives, from headaches, to sport injuries, to uh, funny symptoms, and even serious things. What do we do when we encounter a symptom that we have never had before? In theory, we call our doctor, make an appointment, and ask for advice. In practice, we take out our smartphone and we Google. That's how our world works today. So let's take a look at our world. We have smart devices, smart cars, smart cities, smart grid. We have the Internet of Things, distributed networks, and everything is becoming connected. Let's take a look at the mobile world. When I need a mobility solution, I get out my smartphone, I look at the map, I open a drive now, which is standing there, and I get into the car. Same goes for bicycles. It's amazing, right? There are bicycles around here, and we can just use them. We choose our dinner table, and technology is guiding us there. When we arrive at an event like this, the smartphone shows the ticket, and we show the ticket so we interact with our surrounding. Same goes for trains, same goes for the airport, right? You have your ticket here, and you interact with your surrounding. You even start to interact with watches now. In some countries, we've started to pay with our smartphones. So we use a gesture in conjunction with our thumb or the fingerprint to authorize digital transfer. We even start to use other technology. Getting back to our little health problem, right? We're still Googling there and uh, clicking some links, and uh, we read some posts about uh, what we might have, and we reach a conclusion, which is probably not a conclusion. What do we have? Let's analyze what's happening here. We, we as patients, we are trying to substitute the doctor by technology. But we are not there yet. So we end up going to the doctor anyways. Let's take a look how this works today. And we are all patients. Imagine you go to the doctor. The first thing, you will check boxes, and you fill out forms. Then your doctor will ask you a question like, when did you take which medication, for how long, and why? And when was your last operation? Which one exactly? Which procedure? We don't provide the exact answers. When you go to another doctor or into hospital, this whole process starts over and over again. When you exchange data, it's printed on paper or on CD. And maybe in your memory, but paper and CD. Over time, we acquire documents and we lose the information in the system. We might have it at home in a folder, but typically we don't have the information with us when we need it. Medicine today feels archaic. Let's take a look at the other side of the table, the doctor's side of the table. As a doctor, you have limited time with your patient. You have more patient, patiently waiting in the waiting room. You have a nurse, she wants you to sign some documents in between. You have an appointment coming up in an hour with your management or with your wife or a husband, and you're there with the patient, discussing with the patient whether the patient is allergic to amoxicillin or penicillin or any other antibiotic, and you haven't even started the treatment yet. The problem is not that the doctor doesn't have technology. The doctor, they have plenty of technology. It's high tech right now in medicine. But we as patients, we are not connected. And on the other hand, we have technology, we're using amazing technology, and the doctor is not connected. Let's analyze how the ecosystem works right now. We have a consumer health ecosystem. We've discussed and heard a lot about it. 
We have wearables. We have uh, health devices like Apple Watch. We have apps. We have uh, smart devices, connected devices like a scale I step on every day. It dumps the data into my smartphone. We have platforms. We choose our platform. We choose our brand. And yes, we still have paper and CD. The doctor uses medical devices. He uses IT. He uses images. He might use cloud solutions to connect to other doctors. And he uses electronic health records. Those two worlds right now are not connected. Smartphones will not substitute doctors in the near future. I'm very, very sure of it. But why don't we here, as patients, why don't we use the potential of both? First thing, we as patients, we need to transfer our data, our health, to the doctor, so the doctor can work. Obviously, there is more and more data, and the doctor will be overwhelmed by all the data that is flooding towards him. So algorithms will compress the data, prioritize, and strip. And that's where responsibilities are shifting from patients and doctors to entrepreneurs, investors, and developers. And I want to make a strong point for the importance that we discuss what's going on here. Of course, the data needs to flow back to you, and it needs to be seamless for the doctor as well. How does this German system work? We store our health data, the professional data, at our doctor. Every doctor has its own storage device somewhere, and our data is stored there. So the obvious solution would be to build one health cloud and connect everything to one cloud. Clouds in general, especially in Germany. But especially one cloud has some flaws. This is super attractive for hackers. We have privacy issues, we have ownership issues, and so on. And there's one thing. Where's the choice? Why don't we use what we all know? We're used to having our documents with us, stored at home, decentrally, and the decentralized system the doctor uses, and also store the data at the patient digitally. And luckily, we all have a smartphone with us. Most of us do. And it has storage capacity. I call it mobile-enabled medicine. I'm the founder and CEO of uh, ConnectedHealth.eu. I have studied medicine, I have worked uh, as a surgeon, and I've written code with constants like HK Quantity Type Identifier Heart Rate. It's a unit of the iOS system. We, and together with a great team, we are connecting those two worlds. Our product is called Lifetime. It's mobile data exchange between you and your doctor. You have an app, all your health data stored on your device. You decide from there what you want to do with your data. On the other hand, it's a small hardware for the doctors. Plug and play, system independent, it just works. Let's take a look how it works. LifeHub, small hardware, doctor plugs it in, and it's mobile enabled. You have an app, and between LifeHub and Lifetime app, you locally exchange data. Again, we've all been patients. Imagine you go to your doctor or into your hospital, and there's the small device, and you just exchange your data. Super simple. You exchange your documents, images, and this new kind of data, smart health data. It works in both directions. It is an encrypted connection, and it provides the local experience we are getting used to at airports, at check-ins like here. So before I wrap up, we have ordered the first batch of the units, life hubs, and we are starting to ship them to doctors soon. So if you have a doctor and you would like to exchange data with your doctor, let him know, let us, us know. Of course, as a startup, we are always fundraising. We are choosing our, our investor in July. And that's a very strong message. Please, please, please take your health in your hands. And with our technology, it becomes super easy and super simple.
And that's Lifetime. Thank you very much.